Welcome to paperfinesse.com. We'll be doing some tutorials on Silhouette Studio and also various paper crafts. So sit back and let's have some fun. I'm going to go up to Cartabella. I think it was, oops, it's going too far here. It's okay. I picked this bird because I can see it's got some little messy edges and it's got an inside that we're going to want to cut. So I'm going to double click this on my mat. Okay, now here we are. I'm going to make this bigger. See all that? This is really a messy file. Surprises me for, well this is Carbell, I was thinking it was Samantha. Okay, so first thing I want to do is clean up some of these edges before we do our trace. So I'm going to zoom in and the big thing that we have to be concerned about are these areas that actually touch the outside edge here. So I'm going to get my eraser and I'm going to select this one and I'm going to carefully And every time you release the um, eraser, you have to go select it again, which is quite annoying. It should stay selected until I switch tools. Getting areas that look like they could cause a problem. Get the darkest areas. Anything light, I don't think we're going to have an issue with. All I'm doing, by the way, is clicking and dragging, left clicking and dragging. Oops, I forgot I need to select it again. I'm not used to having to reselect the same tool. Okay, now I'm going to go to the trace window. Select trace area, you have to click this. Forget sometimes, and then drag it over your image. Uncheck high pass check low pass and increase your threshold. What we're trying to do is get a good solid outline. Okay I've got the threshold at 84.1 and let's go ahead and trace the outer edge. And we've got a lot of little dots still in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select oops, just command Z undo or you can go to edit undo. I'm just going to select all this and I'm going to go up to Object, Modify, Crop. And when I move this, over, I'm going to release and then I'm going to move the bird and I'm going to go here and it gets all those little dots out of the way. But I'd use that trace to crop so now I need to trace again, but it'll be a lot cleaner this time. Before we do that, let's zoom in a little bit. See a couple areas here. Let's get the eraser tool first. A small one. I warned you we had a pretty messy file here, and it is. Be a little more careful than I'm being here, but I think you'll get the idea. Is the round one? Is anything here? Okay, let's back this out a little bit. Okay, let's do our select trace area. 
select trace area. Turn off high, turn on low. Move our threshold. That looks pretty good. I want to do trace outer edge. Now let's zoom in. Looks pretty darn good. Look how close all the. Well, that's a nice trace. And I don't think these little spots will matter. Okay, now we're going to want to cut out this area. So what you need to do is select the polygon tool. And the polygon tool works by clicking and then dragging. It's a straight line, so I'm dragging pretty far. Clicking again. And then every time I'm going to make a curve, I make sure I, I click. We could use the curve polygon, but I find this one easier to use. But if you want a smooth line, you just click a little more often, like right here. I don't go too far because I don't, because if I went like this, I'd get a straight line. So I keep my dots relatively close together. This is funny when I first saw this. It's like, what the heck? It filled with a picture of the bird. So take care of that. I just select it. Go to the um, fill window, which is this one. Open the color fill and select the little lattice thing. It means no fill. Okay, now we have no fill. Now when we go to the cut settings, which is up here. our edge and we've got this. So you can cut right here if you like or go to the advanced window which I've got another video on how to I'll just go there real quick. Go to advanced and you can cut by layer or by line color or by fill color. Now we're ready to get this file ready for print and cut. Let's zoom back out and let's group our image. I select all. Command G for group or you can right click. Right click and group. I've already got it grouped. Or you can go up to the object group. Okay, now we want to go up here to our, no I'm sorry, it's one with the little four corners. That's the registration one. We change some of our icons. And then under style, I just click the off to turn it on. And the options are Cameo Portrait or the older SD. And so I select Cameo Portrait. And you can move the corners. Now, I'm not printing at <clears throat> 8 and a half by 11. So I'm going to go over to my page settings window. And I'm going to change my 12 by 12 to my current printer or you can just select letter but I just go with my current printer because it knows my uh, margins and I want portrait you could also put it in landscape if you'd like and I'm going to make this smaller I always work on the image larger and then I place it within the red borders and where you can see the little hash marks, I did do a test. If part of your image goes in the hash mark, it does cut. As long as you've got it inside the registration mark borders. Now if you want to conserve some paper, you could move this border up. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Let's see what show print border. There's my actual printer border. It's way out here. Let's zoom back in a little bit. So... There's my print border. So let's leave the print border on for a second and go back to our registration. And here's the bottom. Let's move the bottom registration marks way up here. And it looks like that's all it's going to let us go, but it's a lot closer. And if we wanted to conserve some more paper, we could go 
out right up to my printer line or close to it. And the same with the top. And the same with the right. If we had more, but I don't, let's be, I could actually tighten it up. But you can adjust your registration marks. Now this image is ready to go to the printer. So what you do is go up here to the little icon, it's a little printer icon, it says send to printer. And you send it to the printer and when it's done printing, you load the mat in the same orientation with your arrow pointing up on your mat into your silhouette. And when you get it, the mat loaded, you click send to silhouette. Now some people have had an issue with not cutting all the way to their printer's border. And if you have an issue with that, then go into on a Mac, it's, it's Silhouette Studio. On a PC, it might be under File. What you're looking for is a Preferences file. So I've got Silhouette Studio Preferences or Check File Preferences. So click on Defaults and make sure your registration marks are off here. It doesn't affect the page. This is just a default so that your paper will cut to your edge, not your registration mark. So make sure that's turned off. The um, other thing, I also have page border cut to edge of page. So those two things may help you if you do run into any issues. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to answer you and I hope this helped. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please push the thumbs up like button and subscribe to the video. See you next time.